Church, work with the kids downstairs. Maybe work around here at the church. Do something for God. Maybe help one of these ministries out. There's all kinds of ministries. There's a sign ministry. You want, you want a scripture sign in your yard? See that big fellow back here? Free. Don't cost you a dime. They'll come in and replace it and put new, new scripture every so often. You'll get a new thing. Won't cost you nothing. Won't take a dime. You say, well, I want to help. Then help him. Don't give it to me because I don't want it. Amen. You say, well, I don't know. I don't know if I want Maybe, you know. Well, there's whole rope ministries. They go up there. You can help with that. If you say, well, I can't go. Well, then you can help support him financially. Slip him a few bucks. It'll help him out down the road. There's CPR missions. There's another good ministry. They go around doing soul winning. You say, well, I don't know how to talk. Well, then help them get out there and talk. Support that. Yeah. Amen. I can't talk. Well, there you go. You got two talkers there. Help them. <laughs> Listen, don't sit there on your laurels and not do anything. The nursing home ministry. We got a jail ministry. You say, well, I don't think. We got, we got a couple over here that feed the elderly. Go around once a week and, and get meals together and take them to elderly people and make sure they get a good meal. Yeah. Help them with that. Yeah. Listen, don't sit there though. Be zealous to good works. Oh, but we'll go to Costco and Sam's. Ooh, I gotta go up there and catch me a sale. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen, I want to tell you, Jesus Christ is a way to happiness. You really want to be happy? Listen, I, I, I listen. I love, I love being God's blessed and, and allowing us to have things. We're Americans, and I thank God for being an American. I thank God for a good job. I thank God that I'm able to do things. Those are blessings. I'm not denying those things. Listen, if you've got the ability to have and enjoy, but enjoy it, but make sure it stays in perspective. There's nothing wrong with having things. Just don't put them above God. There's nothing wrong with being rich. Rich is great. I ain't, but it's great. Why? Because God blessed you with it. Then be thankful, but just don't put it above God. Listen, you can be happy. Why? By letting go of everything and just trust God. And we're so worried about everything. We're worried about whether it's going, Trump's going to win or he ain't going to win or, or Kamala's not going to win or she's going to lose. And we're worried about a recession. We're worried about our economy. We're worried about all this stuff. Listen, you're not of this world, brother, sister. We're in it, but we're just passing through. Here, let me, let me help you. Pop you some popcorn. Get the popcorn bag out. Watch the debate. Eat your popcorn. And say, well, that's a pretty good show. Flip it and watch the ball game. Because you're not going to make a difference. You pray. Listen, you pray. You vote or you don't vote, depending on what you want to do. And then once you're done with that, you're done. Listen, he is in office because God allowed him to be in office. Trump was in office because God allowed him to be in office. And if God allows him to be in office again, he will. If not, she will. And you'll either vote or you won't vote. But you're done after that, friend. That's not going to depend on my happiness. Listen, when I get up in the morning, I don't look at the Dow Jones. I don't look at my 401k. Why? Because I'm not depending on it. Either God's going to have it there or he ain't. If he ain't, amen. But I'm going to be happy. Why? Because I'm saved, I'm blood-bought, and I'm going to heaven when I die. What about you? What are you putting your happiness in? You might want to check that. 